Russia's invasion of Ukraine is happening halfway across the world, but the impacts will be felt here in San Diego. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why the turmoil will take a bigger chunk out of our wallets. Or if you have kids like I do, where we're taking them to school back and forth every day, that hits the pocketbook. Keith Irwood braces himself when he pulls up to San Diego's gas pumps these days. Then, when he goes to buy food, he takes another hit. Just this past weekend, we celebrated my son's seventh birthday, got a little cake, and normally we pay about $19, $20 for a cake, and it was almost $50. But as a San Diegan who consults with companies large and small on preparing for crisis situations, he's not surprised. First, the COVID outbreak led to major supply chain issues and soaring inflation. Now, Russia has invaded Ukraine, causing the price of oil to surpass $100 a barrel for the first time since 2014. That hits California, which imports about half of its crude oil. Fuel's definitely going to go up. You're going to see the cost of goods and groceries go up even more. Uh, it's definitely going to hit people and businesses in the pocketbooks. On Thursday, the Auto Club reported the average price for a gallon of gas in the county hit a record $4.78. Irwood could see that going up to even 6 or $7 locally and higher in other parts of the state. Of course, that means the cost to transport goods such as food to grocery stores and ingredients to restaurants will get even more expensive, a price increase that would be passed right along to consumers. John Horn, ABC 10 News. As of last month, inflation in San Diego was increasing more than 8% compared to the same time last year.